Hello? My name is Eric Fleischer, and this is my focus. What got you into skateboarding to begin with? I never thought about it. I moved to Georgia, and I met a guy named Will Schrake. So if you're watching this, Will, shout out to you. Yeah, he was a kid who skated in my neighborhood, and I lived at the top of this neighborhood, and I just saw this dude bombing this hill every day, and like almost completely eating it every time. And yeah, I just I got aboard as soon as I can and started bombing the hill with him. How long have you been interested in photography and what sparked the interest? I used to work for Guitar Center. So I used to do like what's called grand openings. I used to like build guitar centers from the inside out. I was traveling and I would be on flights all the time. So I'd see all these cool, all this cool shit and I was like missing it. And I, you know, I just, one day I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get the camera. And then it didn't hit me until a year later that like how much my dad loved photography. I have boxes in this closet over here just of like my childhood and everything, just photos of like my life. And it's all because of my dad. He loved it. Everywhere we go, we'd have little cameras like this and stuff. You know, that's what, that's what really like made me realize how much I loved it. Yeah, shout out to my dad. And what are your thoughts on starting a magazine? That's like an end goal of mine, like to have like a gnarly ass magazine traveling all over the world to like just capture skateboarding for what it is. Early on, like getting into skateboard photography, I was like, you know, I want to make a magazine right now, like just do it right now. But, you know, I'm slowly working on it, how I want it to come along and how I want it to be. So yeah, I'll have one soon enough. What do you think of the future of magazines and skateboarding? Will it go more digital or physical mags will, will stay? That's a tough question. You know, the world continues to go more digital, move along and everything. But I mean, I hope printed magazines will stay. I think there's nothing better to like, there's nothing, there's nothing better to pick up a magazine, like read it. Like this is from uh, Corey Glick, man. I mean, this is so cool. You pick one of these up, better than any, any digital. So I hope, I mean, in the end, I think digital will take over as it already is, but this should definitely stay. Do you think Thrasher is the top magazine to be a part of in skateboarding? Yeah, I guess. I mean, Thrasher is Thrasher. It's kind of like a staple. The best of the best have been a part of it. Yeah, that's like a dream of mine to get something in Thrasher. Start brewing something up in the process, but hopefully we'll get there soon. Who are some of your favorite people to shoot? Uh, dude, any skateboarder that wants to just throw themselves over, around, down, on top of anything. That's, that's who I like to shoot, anybody who's willing to you know, shed some blood for the skateboard. Do you believe you have, <laughs> do you believe you have to land the trick to use the photo in skateboarding? I don't know what people's take on it is. I have no idea. I mean, for me, I would like to have the land personally. Now, sometimes like I know like, like one of my homies, we got this dope photo and he spent hours and hours trying to land this trick and he never landed it. But the photo was so cool. I have the photo and I would use it, but he's got to go back and land it. So I rather have like the land and the picture of the landed trick. Sometimes the ones that you don't land are just like the nicer ones, but. Why do you post primary black and white photos? I feel like I don't post that many black and white photos. I mean, black and white is just awesome. Some There's something to black and white that I just love personally. But I'm trying to, you know, I like color too. I like to mix both of them in. Who are some photographers you look up to? I will say this, when I got a camera, I didn't think about integrating skateboarding and photography. Like I didn't even think about it. I was just a skateboarder and I just had a camera. I never thought about it. Until I saw work of Matt Pendry. He is definitely by far like my biggest inspiration when it comes from skateboard photography. I mean, his stuff just looks like pure art, like it looks cinem uh, cinematic. It's just, it, it, he's amazing. Um, you know, Atiba, <laughs> of course, he's awesome. Oliver Barton, those are like the three, caught my eye, but no, definitely Matt. Matt's the reason why like I became a skateboard photographer and why I wanna do this for a living. Uh, what's next for me? Um, dude, um, just trying to be positive, be on top of everything. I'm just trying to get more content, just trying to get out there and just skate with the homies and get photos. I want everybody in the A to like progress and move up and I wanna be a part of that movement and I wanna grow with 
my community. Yeah, hopefully in the next, by the end of the year, hopefully you'll see my first magazine. Hopefully we'll see, like I said, I have a set myself a high standard for it. So I just want to make sure I get it right. But uh, yeah, I think that's what's going to be next. And uh, you know, and to whatever else comes my way.